Hey guys, good morning. So, um, I have been getting a lot of questions from um, friends and family and different people about our meat chickens and what we do, how that works. Um, so today I thought that I would make a video um, just kind of showing you where they are now um, and make a series of videos showing you um, the whole process all the way through to slaughter day. Um, so the chickens that I'm going to show you today, I actually did have, we actually had them in um, a little brooder pen, um, which we have learned from our mistake and from some friends um, that our brooder pen is probably not ideal. Um, the best type of brooder pen would be a round circular one because they like to, um, they like to crowd up in the corners and when they do that, oftentimes they trample each other. So we did lose some, lose a decent amount of chickens, um, in the beginning of chicks. So, um, as far as the types of chickens we use, um, and the, the type of, um, feed that we use and things like that, I would love to share that guys with you guys, um, on another video sometime. Um, today I kind of just want to show you where the chickens are today at week two. We, week two is today, um, the size that they are and, um, what they are in right now, because my husband actually just moved them yesterday into a chicken tractor. So I want to kind of show you the chicken tractor and how, it, how it works or how it moves and kind of their feeding system. Um, and, uh, answer this question. This is one of the questions that I have received and that is like, how much land do you have to have to raise chickens for meat, meat chickens? Um, and the answer to that question is not much. Um, we actually do have a decent amount of land here, which is mostly timber land, but our meat chickens are in our backyard. Um, so it's just that simple. Um, now I say simple. It's time consuming, raising chickens, taking care of them, making sure, you know, that they're always fed and always watered because the whole point is to fill them with lots of feed and constantly move them so they get fresh grass. So, um, I just want to show you that today and maybe in a few days or in a week or so, I'll make another post to show you the progress, um, show you what the chicken tractor actually does when we move them, how, uh, the land changes um how the grass is actually fertilized um so i'm going to show you that real quick and i hope that this is informational good information for you guys and that you can take this and you can say you know what that's for me i think i can do that or you know what i like the idea of of knowing what goes in my chicken i'm going to purchase chickens from a local chicken farmer um so anyways let's uh go take a look at that all right, so here we go, stepping right off of my front porch. Um, we have our chicken tractor literally 100 foot off of my back porch into my backyard. So here it is. Here's the actual chicken tractor. So you can see it just does not take up much room at all. You can see the chick, little chicks have plenty of room in there. Um, so it is, it is a structure. It is actually made of um, like a fiberglass material. Of course, you could make this out of, you know, treated plywood, however you wanted to do it. Uh, it has wheels on the bottom. So when we get ready to move this, it is easily movable. Um, it is... Um, got tin on the top and it's secure, screwed in. Um, and then we have this one little opening area that's not big enough for anything like a cat or anything to get into. And we literally just move this over to be able, be able to access the watering system. So it's kind of getting low and our feeding system. We, we make sure that they always have feed and we make sure that they always have water. I'm watering usually twice a day um, and they get fed. Usually you fill this up every other day until um, they become 
um, vultures. There will be a point when they're in their growing stage where they will eat, 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 eat. And it's almost once a day that you fill this, this up. Um, they also will get so big that we will most likely separate them into two chicken tractors. We have uh, three total chicken tractors. Um, so they will get crowded um, and we probably will move them into another chicken tractor um, before slaughter day. Actually in a few weeks probably. Um, so this morning basically all that I, I'm doing is I'm checking to make sure that they have plenty of feed and I'm going to clean their water watering system and fill it up to the top um, and just check on them and make sure none of them are stuck under the side or anything like that. Um, we have had casualties before, so um, we just check on them all the time. Uh, we we uh, make sure that, you know, their, their uh, actual ground is not too covered yet. So you can see they're natural fertilized here on the ground. It will be covered with their natural fertilized um, probably by tomorrow. So this, this chicken tractor will be pulled across to give them fresh clean grass. And we will literally drag this chicken tractor all the way down and then turn it around and go all the way back to this fencing area. Um, and that's, that's what we do to give them the fresh grass that they need. And it fertilizes our grass. Uh, our grass, um, a few weeks after they are gone and in the freezer, the grass looks phenomenal. <laughs> so, um, it fertilizes our grass. So, I hope that that, that helped you to see, like, um, the very minimal amount of space that these chickens actually need. Um, like I said, you don't need much space. Um, some kind of system like this where you can move them along your property um, is the best way to go. So I hope that helped you guys.